This short video was created to help parents better understand school emergencies, the district's plans, and the processes for parent-child reunification in the Freeport Area School District. School emergencies can be man-made or natural disasters that impact the way that the district responds, including utility or infrastructure emergencies, extreme weather, or an individual that poses a threat to our students and staff. The nature of the crisis, potential risk of harm, and the procedures outlined in our school safety plan will dictate how the crisis response team, staff, and the students will respond, including lockdown, sheltering in place, evacuation, or any combination of those protocols. An emergency can range in scope and intensity from incidents that directly or indirectly affect a single student to ones that impact the entire district and community. The crisis can happen before, during, or after school, and on or off school campus. A lockdown takes place if an internal or external threat is identified at the school. All doors are locked and students are confined to the building. No entry or exit will be allowed until the all clear is given. Students will not be permitted to leave during a lockdown. Shelter in place indicates that the student will take refuge in designated areas to protect them from hazardous materials or severe weather. No entry or exit will be allowed until the all clear is given. Students will not be permitted to leave during an in shelter in place. In the event of an evacuation, if students are going to be dismissed outside normal protocols to parents or guardians only, the school will use the mass notification system to communicate the designated reunification location to parents. Parents or guardians who are authorized to receive your children will need to be listed on the emergency card and will be required to present photo identification and will be required to sign for your children prior to your children being released from the care of the school. This procedure helps the district account for all students. The Freeport Area School District understands that the first instinct of a parent is to call, text, or email the school or your child or to rush to the school to pick up your child. The truth is that this only complicates the matters from a safety and security standpoint. If your child is hiding and trying to be quiet, your call or text could give up their location to an intruder. Additionally, school personnel attempting to mitigate the crisis situation cannot give the required effort and attention to mitigating the crisis and respond to all parent inquiries at that time. The school will communicate with parents as soon as possible to provide updates and critical information, including reunification information and other relevant items. Parents or guardians that are too close to an incident can hinder rescue attempts of police, fire, or other emergency first responders. During a crisis, one of our first procedures is to deny access to the campus to all non-emergency responders. This is done to assure the focus of the responders is directly on protecting our students and treating any injured students or staff. The Freeport Area School District is requesting parents help to ensure the safety and well-being of all involved by following the protocols created by our safety committee and community first responders. If there were an emergency at a school in the Freeport Area School District, the district will send as soon as possible a message to parents using the robocall system. In addition, if appropriate to do so, the district would pass information for parents and the community on Aaron IU 28 Schoolcast and provide information to the local radio stations. Should you have any questions about our plans or anything contained in this video, contact the Freeport Administration Office.